So let's continue further. Okay, so from the previous session, I got some results. I have written test cases for my XML output for satellites and when I run all my tests for the output they are all passing through so basically so basically what I'm doing and I'm writing test to verify that I can crea create here or less XML file next test mm. Next test, uh, when I compare with the example of the demo, I need to create my element and I need to read this element, go over it and yeah, and go over the sub structure. But let's do the first thing first so what we need to test first I need to write a test okay this test will be like following I need to make sure that I am creating other that I'm creating my XML file only in the case when my set model is not null, is not empty. So I will do following. I need to verify that the uh, elements which I create after the root are not zero. There are, that they are not zero. So what I have to do, let me just write here, testing if XML output testing if XML output testing if XML output can create create um, XML elements I'm expecting I'm actually expecting to get a boolean result expected result which is true and the actual actual result which is boolean 2 let me just do this and here I just need to compare some stuff uh, what I need to compare I need to compare the uh, the DOM document which I get And basically, I need, because I have many elements in my document, I need to make sure that they are not zero. But this all will happen in the method which will I call. So basically, I need to write here assert equals. And here I need to make sure that I am that I'm checking checking if uh, XML LMs are not null I always like to, to make it obvious what I'm trying to test and let's do this like following So, how I should 
deal with it. Basically, basically, the output XML output document. I need to initialize it always when I run all of my tests. Okay, so now what I need to do? I'm actually need to do following. I need to extract this value put to the class and then in my initializer method which which will uh, run all always before executing of the test cases so it 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 executes the setup before running each of the tests test run but before the test is run it executes my setup method now I take my I need to initialize it like this and later I can access it without any problem so like this why why I'm doing so because I wish to have the situation where my XML output always always set up root element because then later it will produce some sort of XML document well let's do next step the next step will be like following I calling my satellite XML root and here I need to make sure that I am creating XML elements and of course this method wasn't written yet but it is neat it's, it, it has to be created and before I do that I just need to look it up at the demo how the demo runs okay so you have here the situation car name blah 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 so basically what I'm thinking about I need to find a way to calculate the element. So an element that is the first text here. It's always f before the bracket. Because you see, um, I creating an element with attributes. And this element contains another elements all and with attributes too. Okay. So what I have to do next? I need to write this method. This uh, method. Ah, okay. So this method. What actually this method do? He sets up here updates the document. It updates the document. JDOM document which I have previously initialized it. and I don't need to pass values to this elements to this method sorry I need just to how, how I can the cast no I just need to create an element method method, method.
Ah, okay, I use wrong object, sorry. Now, now it's best, better define it. Now it's correct definition. I just need to create the method. And once again, what I need to have, I'm actually forgot to to pass this value. Yep, I need to pass this value. And. I am actually expecting to see, not exactly right now at the point, but I need to get the values from this model object. And how I will do this, uh, it will be pretty interesting because of course in my test I need to pass this value and where here is my all satellite information object. All right. Okay, so next step. Okay, and next step will be so I get hold of a set model, and the next things to to do with this object, uh, I need to get values from the all satellites information object iterate over the values and each time create proper elements with the proper attributes and their values according accordingly values mm, it's quite challenging but at the end at the end if I all if I done all right if if all the things which was I have which I will right now when when I did wrote written <laughs> sorry where where I did written all okay then I will return true and if not, I will return false. One important thing to f to think about about this test case: basically, XML output for satellite should consist of a document. So basically. basically I need to write here I need to write a test case which making sure that I can set up my document in XML output for satellites additional step is needed and before I'm doing this so how possibly it can work yeah I think I know it so this is funny case where I am making sure that testing that XML output JDOM document is set up and boolean expected value expected result is true boolean actual result is false and my assert equals my assert equals pretty simple checking 
checking that um, checking that j that jdom document in xml output is set up all right so this is what i'm actually expecting and of course i need to call some method So, and here it is pretty simple. Because it is pretty simple. And I'm just thinking about how I should test it, how I should write my method. So I need to write a method which verifies the, the value that is not empty. Okay, so my before each I create XML root. All right, so. I just need to make sure I need to call some getter satellite XML root not second XML output and here I need to make sure that verify 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 uh, xml outputter document jdom document jdom document yeah. So now I need to do this thing like this, create the method and in order to pass that, this test, I know I need to write my creating XML elements, but first things first, so this is pretty easy, pretty easy. I need to import. my JDOM document uh, document 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 yeah I think it is create some root here It is already yeah, document is here. So basically, I need to declare it private document private document set xml output doc and I need my set on getter ok 
okay and where I'm creating create XML root here I need just to call my object so basically doing this this set exactly this is what and basically I probably need to rewrite my create XML root but before doing this I need to because why I need to rewrite my test for the create XML root because I don't think this is a good idea to to return the document because I'm changing the member variable <coughs> of this class I think it is just better way but let's try it out so get a and set are set up and here I'm making sure that I'm returning a result And I'm making sure that the result type is a false. And here I just need to I need to make sure that my object this get XML output doc and then I just call is not is a second remove has root elements yeah should be true so basically basically I'm making sure that I am Basically, making sure that I have a document with a setup with a setup root. So I did written my verifier. Let's just test it out. Did it work? Testing some. Yeah. this will I test first yeah it works and now I need to refactor some code so here for example um, what should I prefer let me just think about for the moment Satellite XML root. Now I basically I don't need to work with additional uh, mockup variable here, so I can delete. Oops, too much, too much code deleted. I delete this variable. I delete this variable I call it the create XML root and here I don't need to do some return I just write here public void and this should be sufficient uh, here I just need to call not this but rather to make a call to the actual object which uh, which I will work with so it's like this object and here I just need to 
get my object and here I need to just to do this and this will work so I'm basically calling calling in the proper way so I'm calling not through the help variable but rather directly directly through the method get some get set XML output doc yeah because I need later to work with and I have here method which will be basically big big stuff uh, why why I'm still considering what to do uh, I have many elements with sub elements with the attributes and the, in their values so I have basically to find a way to this is basically one of the things which I deal on the daily basis with when I work with the XML sometimes it's too verbose to to deal with it in one stake but anyhow let's just consider uh, the possibilities so I think um, what should run wait a second name create XML elements ah, so he here it is I mean here is a method where I need to work with the XML so basically all other methods should work but one method shouldn't and this is what I get this is what I'm actually expecting to see cool now I need to write such way that I can add elements uh, I need to read elements from my set model object I need to paste these elements as values to my XML document and then later output it that's like this so let's continue further now big question arises how to deal with, how to deal with parsing of the object which I get now I need to make it cleaner and let's just let's just look at my creating XML elements so basically here what need to happen it, it is expected that I return some value here and let's just do this value things like this And now I need to think through the example which I got previously here. So this is what need to be done. Create new element, then set up uh, the attributes of the element. And I have many, I have many attributes. And when I execute this, So in my case the root element is a satellite, the next element is the, let me just quickly, the sat, this will be the next element, and basically this needs to be a set, 
set and the according values so let me let me just think what will happen next uh, Uh, end result, uh, it is understandably clear, it is a d document, this is my end result. Alright, so what I need to do next? I need to get hold of my elements. Mm, let's just quickly do this. So what I can actually get hold of? Wait a second. Um, calculate amount amount of satellites. Calculate amount of satellites. Then. Iterate, iterate over each of satellite, and that's it. This will be quite, mm, quite. Uh, I will say, expected to 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 get. So it will be quite interesting how I will write it. Calculate amount of satellites, iterate over each of satellites. Basically it's two separate methods. Mm. Yeah. But let's do the first thing. I need an integer. And I need amount of set. Amount of satellite. I need to write it big capital letter. Satellite. And there I just need to call appropriate appropriate method. Get amount of satellites like this. Now before I can actually before I can actually execute it I forgot one important step oh my god so here I need to verify verify that my verify that my that my set model is not empty and I you know I have written such method so let me just yeah call this method And here I need to make sure that mm, status status of my set set model setup. Why I did not like it? Uh, because I need to pass. Oops, wrong place here. Right. So, I know, I know, let me just write my if statement.
Yeah, it's sometimes uh, yeah working with XML not so much fun, but it's okay. I can deal with it. And so here. Here I'm making sure that I am working with a let me just do it first. Uh, I don't need the else because the result is already set up. All right, so I, I know that my set model is set up on this not empty so to speak and mm, okay that's not problem at all so now I got the amount of satellites and I can actually iterate for the given amount of satellites. Let me just quickly use iterate over a temporary variable. So basically I can use it I can use for loop or I can use for each because I don't need to I know I know the amount of satellites is bigger than zero and if it is bigger than zero I just need to run my for each loop so I don't need to write my iteration loop. Alright, so I will do this. So, yeah. Because it's pretty obvious. So let me just check it. Amount of satellites, what should it be? I expect that is uh, more more than zero in any case. So it's more than zero, and I know that this is a case in my case. <laughs> funny, funny, funny sentence, but I know that I have more than zero satellites and here I need to iterate over each satellite and I need to pass a value the value to the proper XML element Okay, uh, so what I should do, first of all, iteration over the satellites. I know that they are more than zero and this is our case and I need to do following. I write for each loop for each for it mm. let me just nope yeah things like that so I am iterating over Ok, 
can only iterate over an area of ah okay so yeah I need to, to work with the sets yeah 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 it's okay so here it will be funny so now here I need to call my get 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 sorted satellite I'm iterating over the set and let me just quickly bounce to this and I don't need set information set object and now I'm iterating over the set of the satellites and can create elements pretty neat pretty neat but I will refactor all of this in separate methods it would be even better now alright so I need to save my file and what I need to do let me just think what I need to do so basically I need to think about I have my satellation set satellation no I have my set information object and I need to do it right so what what is a proper thing to do with that um, here I have my element so I'm creating each time new element let me just copy that and of course this is not a car element this is actually sat element sat element new element and this would have the name of set alright and now now I need to make sure that I am getting the attributes for this sat element and this is quite interesting so I need to set attribute and given the right element let me just run it over so new element okay that was okay set attribute okay so I need to run such comment here And basically I need to I will basically output this line first yeah first I need to output this line and then all, 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 all of others so new element set new attribute uh, here's a here is what I need to do okay and how I 
supercar element. Okay, I see where can be where can be the problem. Because I need I don't think this is a big problem or maybe I need some collection because because I working with many elements. Here I have an example of supercar element. It is only one element. Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah, it can be difficult uh, sometimes, and but this is not difficult. Such big, such big difficult. And let me quickly pause. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> quite uh, uh, was a little challenging so I take some time off uh, half hour exactly to say and I got my result I got my result funny thing mm, so here is my class so currently I'm passing all of my tests when I execute all of my tests run as three unit test all tests passing through great and my test for outputting the outputting output testing that XML output JDOM document setup uh, I think it was let me just quickly uh, yeah mm, testing XML output creates XML elements this test did run okay and it passed so basically the problem is always with XML not with the coding skills um, first I need to parse the data about my satellite like for example like this yeah and here i have a for each loop with help of this loop i'm looping over my satellites i'm making an inquiry to my satellites information object which is set object and i'm getting the attributes and this is exactly the values which I got here. And let me just do next step. In the same time, in the same loop, I'm looping over my lists. I have many lists, exactly for for type of different kind of list. I have. Um, transponder frequency list, uh, symbol rate list, uh, polar polarization list, and that's it. And I need to loop for each of this list and get the value from each of the list. Man uh, you can imagine like, uh, let me just quickly switch over my whiteboard. So basically I have the situation, I have, uh, where is my, okay, so I have like four, four different kind of lists and I need to iterate at the same time for each of the row of the lists. I know that from my data structure I have same amount of lines for each of the table so it will be quite sufficient when I know the amount of, of values which I have stored in my uh, table 
I mean in the list it's, the table is just a representation of data and I'm getting for each loop iteration from each of the table values and I'm storing the values and I'm producing XML basically it's not complicated but it was quite challenging I would say um, yeah and of course code lines uh, are too big and let's just first verify the result so here I, I have in my test class a helper method which prints uh, an XML result XML and now when I'm executing one only one test to generate XML I getting this so this is the final result of of uh, so this is information which I got from the Java object which I have worked within my Java application and this will be like final final result for each of the Java object uh, one time satellites one time for services and one time for um, buckets so basically now I can produce my own generated XML and the values when you compare the values for like for example this line let's take a time and make sure that this line is available at Hotbird uh, let me just quickly switch over to my resources at satellites and let's just find the line uh, wrong place oh. okay so basically I need to find the line for Astra let's let's find it so here I need to find Astra here is Hotbird here is Astra look it close symbol rate the same I mean frequency the same symbol rate the same polarization the same thick inner the same and the last line the last line of Astra will be uh, the same too let's look so let's look it one two three or four point zero zero so you see I got it I managed and this data I get from this data I getting from my ob Java object so basically one big step was done and the only thing which I need to care now will be other classes which I have it will be basically uh, the same amount of work and I think it would be quite quite interesting and it will be quite pretty interesting but you see it is possible it's some sort of ugliness of XML I admit but mm, it takes time to understand how it works and what about my method which I have wrote it looks not so pretty let me just extract some methods from here so basically I need to extract this for method let me just extract the method and let me just extract it so I'm basically iterating over lists so refactor and I hope it works yep so it will be private method finally and I will say iterating over um, lists of set list iterating over list lists of set because I have many now okay now it is and let's just run the test
Yep. Test did worked pretty well. So now I just need to where's my testing tool? Yep. I need to to do following. So I have here the part which I want to extract because I don't like too much amount of lines. So basically here I'm generating new element, new transponder element. Factor extract method generating new transponder element. And I think it will be. I will say, let me just do this like this. Okay, so. Yeah. But, yeah, this is, this is the nature of XML. This is what it does with your code. Maybe when I do so, it will be a little bit better. But you don't see all of the methods. Uh, anyway, doesn't matter right now. So at the at the at the end, it will be available on GitHub. And I do it on GitHub. This is an open op, open project. Yeah, and you can clearly see that it works pretty well. Um. So this is what I need to. So basically here, this method, let me just, so basically trying to, to, to make it prettier, but XML not always pretty. Mm. So you cannot expect from XML to be, to be pretty pretty. But what I am actually liking about that I can, yeah, I can leave it like that. And when I put it, maybe uh, doesn't matter. So yeah, some things you cannot do as best. But an, an, another additional thing I think I did did not spend much time thinking about uh, my satellites service uh, satellites XML file how I structured in class. Uh, maybe if I did structure uh, it a little bit better, but doesn't matter if it works pretty well and I covered with tests. So here I have, let me just run my uh, test. Test work pretty well. So you see I generating an XML file with all of with all of information which I have here and and I passing all of my tests so it's very cool now what I need to do um, let me just think let me uh, just think so I don't need this so basically create XML elements still big method and I wish to so here I am actually in this part of code I am generating my new XML document And let me just do following. Refactor extract method generating XML new XML new XML new XML generating new SAT XML document. All right. And 
this should this looks fine and here I am checking the amount of satellites let me just click, quickly think about transponder element let me just run test yeah it works so basically why I need why I need this transponder element is not used um, transponder element so basically from my situation I'm transponder element okay <laughs> interesting list set attributes list of attributes what happens when I delete this when I don't need this what happens when I execute my test does it work okay interesting so next step uh, for me it's it like as you can see I'm trying to make my code cleaner it is always next step after successful test and this is actually one of the big values for for the TDD so here I need just to extract this part of code I hope it does work extract method and I can call it like this um, so I'm checking amount of satellites and generating new XML and I will say here checking checking amount of set and and generating XML and creating XML actually not generating generating better not always uh, naming is good part of, of of the of the skills but it, uh, it is always preferable to pick good names for your methods and variables uh, so it always some sort of functioning yeah now now I think it looks better mm. it looks some sort of scattered but I think if I will pick a smaller uh, font size it will be better but anyway it will land on github so doesn't matter if I yeah I can it does not matter right now so let me just run my test Yoohoo! I'm so happy that I can generate XML that it, that it works so basically now I can run all, oh, for my project all of my uh, test run as uh, let me just run tests for my project yeah 112 tests so and you see clearly as the time generating my XML cool and yeah 
The last step will be uh, after I'm done generating with XML. The last step will be like working with uh, working with my uh, working with my um, GUI. I know I did say that this project <laughs> just didn't solve so much code in GUI, but basically uh, I'm not a front-end developer. I, I gathering some skills in in a way to work with uh, JavaScript m most times on on the backend, but for me it is not it is not my like I will say my primary primary skills as UI designer I'm not UI designer but I'm pretty sure that I need a GUI for this project and I'm happy that the code which I presented generates an XML and I think I can conclude with this session and thank you for your time all tests working let me just execute without any additional uh, output all tests passing through so by generating my XML I did disabled output because I don't need it I did show it many times when I execute all of my tests POM tests then and it's pretty cool 112 tests and it continues project continues thank you for your time and till next bye bye